My name is Holly Hoskerson and I'm 22 and I graduated from IC Theatre in 2020 so I was part of the first cohort to graduate which is very exciting and I do social media. I'm a content creator specifically for TikTok but I do Instagram and YouTube as well alongside that. I do little comedy sketches that I made up myself and in November 2020 I started that and it kind of just blew up big time and that's what I do now. I think I'd always done dance shows when I was younger with like a little dance dance academy thing but I'd never really done acting so to speak because when I was a lot younger I was so shy like painfully shy all throughout primary school and luckily I went to a really tiny primary school and I've spoken to a lot of my primary school teachers since and they're like what are you doing and I'm like oh I'm an actress now and they're like what no way you were so shy so yeah super shy growing up and then when I got to high school I kind of realized I liked doing the drama lessons it was really fun loads of my friends did it and then I decided to take performing arts BTEC it's like a GCSE equivalent and I think it was then when I realized oh this is really fun like I can do singing dance and acting as a career maybe like this is so cool and then I decided to do it at college as well performing arts and dance a level and from there I just thought do you know what I think I want to do this at university for a long time I wanted to do teaching I, I don't know I just didn't have a lot of confidence in myself. I thought, oh, you know, I like to do all the performing stuff, but, you know, maybe I'm not good enough. Uh, but I think studying at A-level made me realise, like, oh, maybe I could do this. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to apply for drama school. I applied here and I got in and I loved it. So, yeah, I feel like the moment I realised was definitely at high school. And then when I got older, I got a bit more confidence. I think just having really good friends around me who had the same interests and would encourage me to, to, to be the best version of myself and do what I wanted to do. But yeah, high school, I think, in those performing arts classes, I thought, hmm, this is really cool, I'd like to do this. I'd say that's, that's when I realised. <laughs> I, oh, I love performing so much. It, it is just a magical feeling. And it's so hard to describe because so many people say like, oh, don't you get scared when you're on stage in front of the camera? And I can see why someone would, because it's intimidating, you know, having a camera in your face or lots of eyes on you. I understand that, but I really don't. I just love it. I just feel so at home in front of a camera or on stage. And yeah, I just, it really has a special place in my heart because you just get to be anyone that you want to be on stage and it's it's just so magical and the feeling I get when I have like a good response as I said my TikTok is so big now and I get hundreds and hundreds of comments on every video and my DMs are always so full and just replying to everyone's comments and just hearing how everyone just loves what I do and just it just, the, the reception is just amazing and to hear so many people say that I've lifted their day, made them happy, made them smile, got them through lockdown and all that kind of stuff. I mean, that's just priceless. I just, I still can't believe that that happens, to be honest. And I'm so looking forward to getting back on stage when that can happen and, and be able to, yeah, hopefully move an audience as much as in person as much as I have been have been online and I think that's that's something so special like hearing what people have to say about your performance after it and I think it's just such a lovely thing because you're just in the moment and you're making this piece of art and especially on stage no one ever gets to see that again kind of thing I think it's just so lovely and yeah just on, I just get to be whoever I want on stage I get or on, on screen, you know, I get to create these characters and bring just these random crazy things to life. Um, and I just think it's amazing. I love it so much. Yeah. So when I started, as I touched on earlier, I, I knew I wanted to be a performer, but wasn't 100 percent sure what, because being a performer is obviously there's so many things you can do. And I 
came in thinking, oh, maybe I want to do musical theatre because that's what everyone wants to do when they go to drama school. Not everyone, but it's the majority of people are like, yeah, jazz hands, you know, musicals, which are amazing. I love musicals. And yeah, I came in thinking maybe I wanted to do that. And then I kind of soon realised maybe that wasn't 100% me when I started and maybe saw like the passion that others had for it. I thought maybe that's not 100% what I want to do. And then I really enjoyed the dance classes actually in the first year. Then I thought maybe I want to be a dancer. Um, and then again, I, I feel like I saw the passion that everyone else had for it and I did love it. But I was like, I just think there's like something missing. And I knew obviously I wanted to do, be something performery, but I wasn't 100% sure what. And yeah, so I obviously kept going to my classes and wasn't 100% sure. I was like, maybe it's just acting, da 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 da. And I always had these little characters that I did with my friends and like funny voices. And everyone always used to say like, oh, you should make that into like a sketch. And I always used to think maybe not because what if it's just my friends and family who laugh at that kind of thing? Just like not an inside joke, but something that because you know someone, it's funny because you know them. And, and then I, I suppose I started in acting classes and yeah, like physical theatre classes. With IC Theatre, I started to be a bit more open and experimental to those kind of ideas. I kind of let my guard down a bit and thought, you know what, it doesn't matter if no one laughs kind of thing or no one perceives it well. As long as I'm enjoying it and doing a little bit like for myself, like it's fine. And, and, it, went, and it went really well. So I, I feel like when I realised what I wanted to do, that was definitely something that I see theatre helped me so much with, as I said, I had no idea. And having an access to so many different classes, it wasn't just acting, singing, dancing, got comedy workshops and physical theatre things. We just got so much amazing stuff, like a broad spectrum that you could do everything and then kind of reflect on it and think, okay, well, I love doing that. Not that so much, I enjoyed it, I learned something from it, but, I, yeah, you guys at IC Theatre definitely helped me realise the kind of performer I wanted to be by giving me so many workshops and lessons and opportunities to just experiment and performance class on a Friday, I remember did a sketch there and it went so well, it was like a little stand-up thing and I would never have done that, you know, I never, would never have tried that if it wasn't for that opportunity and the reaction I got from that was so amazing and it definitely boosted my confidence in, 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 in a, like a big way, I'd say. So yeah, I see this definitely shaped me into the performer that I am today. As I said, I came in not knowing what I wanted to do and I've come out knowing exactly what I want to do. I want to do character comedy um, and be an actress and presenter. And I just had no idea before I came in. So you guys have definitely helped me mold into the performer I am today by so many opportunities. So yeah, do it. If it's your dream, do it. I would always say you have to have a burning passion for whatever you're doing. Doesn't matter what career, career you're in, especially performing arts though, you have to love what you do so much and want it because there are thousands of people who want the same thing as you. And that shouldn't put you off at all, it shouldn't. It should make your spark burn a bit brighter, I think. So that's that, and I'd say be consistent. So turn up to your lesson or turn up to your training, whatever you're doing, be there. Even if you don't enjoy the class so much or you're having a bad day, I'd say just be there. It's such a good thing to learn to be consistent with something. So yeah, turn up, give it your best shot, and just make sure you keep doing things that you love doing and keep making sure your fire is lit inside of you because the outside world, when you're a grown up, they're working a full-time or part-time job in something maybe you don't necessarily want to do. It can get difficult, you know, you have to pay bills and rent, all that kind of stuff. But I'd say set aside time every day or every week to do something you love because I, I really, really do believe if you love something enough, you will make the time for it. So yeah, consistency, keep your spark burning and, and j just don't give up. Don't give up, these things take time. You know, you see like celebrities and you think, oh, they, they, 
they got all that overnight and it's just so much hard work goes into being a performer or for me a content creator. I have lots of part-time jobs as well as doing that and that's never something that happened overnight. I've been working on that stuff for years but it, but it does seem like things happen overnight sometimes. But I'd say just keep at it, put something out there and the first thing you put out doesn't have to be perfect. You can just keep moving and moulding and changing and developing. And as I said, if you love it enough, one day things will just click into place and you'll be doing the thing you love. So work hard and just never give up. Yeah. <laughs>